Nasan konnichiwa. My name is Matt Akahara, and in this special upload, we'll be looking at the uh, 2021 Autumn Shooting Festival at Matsumoto Castle. Because of the ongoing situation all over the world, and because of uh, advice we had from local government, we've not been able to do a shooting demonstration for almost two years. So this is quite a special one for us. It's the first one we've been able to do for almost two years, like I said, and it's also the first time that a few gunners are moving into different teams within the, uh, the gun corps. We've got two new gunners into the Tanzutsu Tai, the pistol team, and some of our Ashigaro are starting to become loaders for the Zamazutsu guns as well. So don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment as well. I hope you enjoyed this special upload because we certainly enjoyed being able to go shooting again in uh, Matsumoto Castle Palace Gardens. We will now begin the gunnery demonstration. Before forming up as a gun line or into separate shooting teams, the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps need to prepare their shooting equipment and light their hinawa or match cords. Every gunner as well needs to make sure that they're carrying enough ammunition for the display. And along with equipment and weapons, we also need to make sure that the display area is set up and ready for spectators. We're very lucky at the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps to be so well resourced. Along with the shooting team, other members of the Matsumoto Castle community you would see at these events include sound engineers, announcers and the volunteer fire department. Because there were no lighters or matches during the feudal era, a pre-lit cord was carried by some members of the Teppo Tai, and this is used as an ignition source by the whole team before forming up. As is tradition with the Matsumoto Castle Gun Corps, the gun captain, Nishibori Taicho, opens the display with a shot from his Tanzutsu. This is then followed by the pistol team, or Tanzutsu Tai. Tanzutsu are small matchlock pistols that were mostly used for ceremonial purposes. However, some horse-mounted samurai used Tanzutsu as a self-defense weapon, although Badozutsu were more common and specifically designed with cavalry in mind. This year, there are two new gunners in the Tanzutsu Tai. Next, the Ashigaru form up. Formed into three squads, the Ashigaru initially start as an extended line that can deliver a heavy weight of lead in every salvo. This can be done by firing as a group or in sequence. It takes a long time to reload, so tactically speaking, a commander would need to keep a close eye on the position of enemy units and the condition of supporting troops. It might be practical to break down into separate squads and have rotating fire. This trades off firepower for consistency of volleys. It also stops the guns from overheating and allows the unit to be more conservative with their ammunition.
You might be able to see here that each small team is led by a junior Samuel under the overall direction of the gun captain. This is because whilst the captain focuses on the active rank, some authority needs to be delegated away from the captain in order to make sure that reloading happens quickly and efficiently. Unlike a Banzutsutai, the samurai gunners were expected to find and take on the most difficult targets. They were expected to use their greater courage and skill to take on other samurai or cavalry or entrenched positions. They would also often carry finer weapons with a larger calibre. In this demonstration, the samurai Zutsutai are simulating close range defensive fire. Because of this, the ammunition is already set out and ready. And instead of using karoka, which is the ramrod, the gunners are setting their chuzutsu, which is the medium-sized gun, by tapping the charge into place, saving them valuable seconds. You can imagine that fighting within a rapidly collapsing time frame, every second really does count. Izamazutsu are loophole guns or wall guns. Because of their length, they require a crew of two to fire, one to operate the gun and one to load the gun whilst it's in a vertical position, as you can see here. The barricades that we're using are to simulate the walls of the castle. Typically, these guns would be used within a defensive position such as a castle or fortress or pre-prepared position. The guns that we're using here are over one and a half meters in length and have a caliber of over 14.5 millimeters. So they are considerably more powerful than some of the other guns found on the battlefield. Finally, we move on to the Ozutsu, which is the largest and most powerful type of gun. But before that can happen, the team need to clear an area for the display to take place. Ozutsu literally means large barrel, and the Matsumoto Castle Gunko is fortunate to have access to some wonderful examples. And with that we have the final shot of the display.